Hello and good morning. My name is Matt Nielsen. And I'm Alex Rosa. And we're here today to, at the Gothenburg Learning Center today to talk to you about anhydrous ammonia. Now, as people this time of year are obviously getting corn out of the ground, and as you're driving along the road, you might see some white tanks going by in the field. You're probably thinking, what is that? Well, that's anhydrous ammonia. It's a nitrogen source, and it's a pressurized liquid that, when injected into the soil, turns into a gaseous form. Okay, now knowing that, Alex, why and when do we apply this? So, anhydrous ammonia is a quite common source of nitrogen, like you said. Uh, with up to 83% of, of its form as nitrogen. And one one reason why producers do is that it's a cheap source of nitrogen and because they want to spread their workload. So they are done with harvest, they can get out in the field before it freezes to do this practice of uh, applying nitrogen. Now, one thing that is very important to consider is that you want to apply uh, hydros when the soil reaches at least 50 Fahrenheit, uh, it needs to be below that, at or below, uh, at least in the first four inches of soil depth. Now, the reason why you want to do this is to prevent nitrogen losses, which is one of the disadvantages of this practice, right, Matt? Yeah, of course. So, one of the things that can happen is if you apply when the conditions aren't right, you don't forecast and you go ahead and apply, is the conversion of ammonium to nitrate. Now, nitrate is negatively charged, soil is negatively charged, so one of the problems that can happen is leaching, which is the nitrate going straight through the soil. Now, another thing that can happen with that nitrate is denitrification, where the nitrate will actually turn into a gaseous form and be released through the soil surface. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is a pressurized liquid, so you do want to be completely safe and make sure you know what you're doing when you're around and handling anhydrous ammonia. But another thing that you can do is, uh, per se, as a safety net, in order to kind of prevent these nitrogen losses is what they call a nitri nitrification inhibitor, which is going to slow down that uh, conversion from ammonium to nitrate. Now, knowing that, Alex, what are some last minute remarks? So some, some things that producers can consider before uh, applying uh, anhydrous is that they can split the application, right? They can use the, the, the time in the fall to maybe put the majority of it in the soil, but they can also use some part of the spring. So that way they, they kind of spread the nitrogen application and reduce the nitrogen uh, loss in that sense. Another good thing to consider is perhaps to start with fields that are that have more clay particles. So can bone better the ammonium, and you also reduce a little bit of that uh, nitrogen loss in the soil. Yep. Well, that's great information. That's all the time we have for you, so feel free to shoot us an email with questions or concerns. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this video from the Gothenburg Water Utilization Learning Center. For more information, please call 308-537-4500.